13 Action News reporter Tom George in this morning, and he's live at the scene. What's the latest, Tom? Yeah, Dana, I just talked with fire crews there uh, just wrapping up right now, and this was really a scary situation for the neighbors that called this in because those flames were shooting up so high. Luckily, it's under control right now, and this was a vacant home, we're told. I want to step out of the way and give you a look at what's going on right there. They say this all started in the attic of that home there, and because this was a vacant home, it was all locked up. They actually had to force their way in through the garage in order to get in, but as bad as it looks on the outside, they say most of the damage luckily was contained to the attic. Most of the living area is actually okay but this was a really again a scary situation for neighbors because they were worried that this fire could have easily spread from one house to another luckily that didn't happen a neighbor tells me that uh, the owner that ha owns this home doesn't live there and the last person that was renting the home left about a few weeks ago so again this was a vacant home right now they're not sure how exactly this started they're still working uh, with investigators to figure out how this happened we'll of course uh, stay on top of this and give you any more information but again the good news no one inside and this fire out and everybody is safe. For now, we're live. Tom George, 13 Action News. Thank